A soul that is not originally in this world has intricate connections upon entering, let's see how she survives, this book is written by the new author Zhong Er's soul, so the update time may be uncertain. Chapter 1 Crossing You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois A.R.A. Trong Kwa Trin Lei Text Chapter 2 Qingyun City You are listening at NovelFull.audio the electric shock emanating from her body made Qin Qiyuan confirm the truth once again. The feeling made her scream uncontrollably, and a red beat instantly filled her fair cheeks, but quickly faded away. Her face was filled with despair. In his past life, he was a virgin and had no experience at all. He could only look at the paper man. Now there is nothing, nothing, and there is no chance again. Qin Qiyuan pounded the ground hard, almost crazily attacking everything around him. The rugged rocks and old cypress trees have all become her outbursts, and the birds are panicking and keeping away from her after a long time, Qin Qiyuan finally eased her negative emotions and encouraged herself, saying, Qin Qiyuan, calm down. This is another world, and there will be ways to restore a man's body. After taking a few deep breaths, Qin Qiyuan's eyes showed a firm expression and she patted her clothes and looked around again. The surrounding scenery is beautiful, of course, without looking at those large pits, I don't know why my observation of the outside world is more meticulous I can clearly see the bird eggs hidden among the leaves, and I can see the wolf walking with a rabbit in its mouth not far away. It's clear within a radius of one mile at the same time, there was an unknown substance permeating the air here, and my body sucked and sucked it into my lower abdomen, then extended it to my limbs, five organs and six viscera, slowly and subtly expanding my muscles and veins, and finally exhaling from my mouth this sour and refreshing feeling makes people feel that when massaging with experienced technicians, they become very crispy and numb, and their spirit becomes full and full based on. The situation just now, if I guess correctly, this should be a world of cultivating immortals. Qin Qiyuan remembered that he had personal belongings, so he rummaged through them and finally found a small bag next to his slender waist. A must that have storage bag in the cultivation world. Although this item was only the size of a palm, it looked small from the outside and had a unique hole inside deepening one's perception into it, there is a beginner's gift package inside, including but not limited to several pieces of clothing, a small pile of spirit stones, spirit swords, magic treasures, pills, and objects, all of which satisfy Qin Qiyuan's dream of cultivating immortality, and his eyes instantly turn into V A Omega A V take out the spirit sword from it, which is colored in gold and white. Then take out a jade slip from the bag with the words newly entered into cultivation written on it. Learn the method of cultivation novels and pat it on the forehead. Suddenly, a string of knowledge rushes into your mind, and you can't help but open your mouth slightly. After a moment, it's really cute, making people want to love it hard. I'm innocent. Qin Qiyuan exclaimed in surprise. She learned a lot of knowledge about cultivating immortals from this jade slip. Then she couldn't help but use her spirit sword to play a beautiful sword flower, with exceptionally beautiful movements and full of heroic charm. After playing a few moves, she pinned the spirit sword to her side and introduced qi into her body through the jade slips, which is called qi refining. She should have this cultivation level. Watching the slanting sun at this moment, I wanted to find a place to rest. So, I injected spiritual power into the spiritual sword, rising from the ground and emitting a sense of searching for people. On the sword, I felt the wind and moved towards the north finally, Upon seeing a city from afar, Qin Qiyuan flew closer and landed. Looking at the huge, Qinyun city, on the city gate and the queue of people waiting to enter, he felt a new culture rushing towards him watching the strict inspection of pedestrians by the gatekeeper, I suddenly developed a plot of Long Outian, who was looked down upon by the city guard and later had his identity slapped in the face. I also developed a sense of disgust. I restrained my breath, and when I arrived, the city guard saw me dressed in white without revealing my face. The tone was impatient, so he asked me to pay the entry fee to the city, but when I took out the spirit stone, he directly let me go. 
The imagined plot of deliberately making things difficult did not occur, but instead showed a respectful attitude, which surprised me. The sky has already turned dark, and night has surrounded the entire Qingyun city. Nighttime places such as night markets in Gulen are open, with lights and wine and green, beautiful and bustling. Qingyun City, I'm here. Chapter 3 Joining the Immortal Sect You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois A.R.A. Trong Quatrin Lay Text Chapter 4 Astrology Pavilion You are listening at NovelFull.audio the flowing light spread forward in the court, and the two people on the flying sword shuttle between the clouds. This speed and height were something that Qin Qiyuan, a rookie in the Qi cultivation period, had never experienced before. He stared blankly, surrounded by peaks of love, green trees providing shade, and white cranes soaring in pairs in the mountains. As the ancient saying goes, where the white cranes face and the peaks point, it seems like a fairy. Qin Qiyuan's white hair is messy due to the wind, and three thousand white hair seems to have a spirit accompanied by the flowing light falling on a mountaintop, Qin Qiyuan jumped off his flying sword and walked on the white bricks inscribed with inscriptions. Upon closer inspection, he found that not a single one was like this. There were hundreds of white bricks around him, and the dry ones were all engraved with great differences, that is the pattern of the protecting the ancestral sect formation. This formation is called the Seven Killing Formation, which consists of multiple maze formations, illusion formations, and killing formations. It has seven outer formation flags, which can be operated by holding the formation heart when in use. Seven cultivators can also hold the formation flag, which can unleash tremendous power. The black haired man stepped down from the flying sword and saw that white hair was curious, so he took the initiative to explain while the spirit sword also drifted to the side, follow up, take you to my sect, Bai Mao followed closely behind and walked forward the spirit sword was flying on the side, occasionally leaning towards the white hair, as if looking at Qin Qiyuan. It was strange that this was the feeling that a sword gave people white hair is strange JPG lightly tapped with his fingers, and the flying sword bent down. In an instant, it straightened again, as if supporting the strong image on the surface, away from the white hair. When the attention of the sword was not on Bai Mao's body, Bai Mao thought so and lifted his hand to his chest, slowly moving his feet forward like a hunting kitten when the distance was closer, he made a fierce leap forward, and the sword seemed to be startled. He then reacted and rushed far away from the side. After turning around, he hid behind the cheap master, only revealing a little bit of his sword body, quietly watching Qin Qiyuan the master noticed the commotion and turned his head. White hair had just pounced in the air. As soon as he lifted his head, the two of them looked at each other with four eyes. As soon as they exchanged a glance, white hair and white just small face turned red, like a steam queen, emitting steam. Qin Qiyuan's mind only had the words, big shame. In an instant, the master smiled, and white hair's brain went blank. The handsome face of the master was not like that in the world. Now, when he laughed, White Hair was even more shocked. White Hair admitted that she was moved, and even a man was moved, little cat, hurry up, the master joked, white haired hands were placed somewhere, and he replied with a soft mosquito like, hmm, as the master walked into a lobby, after by Mao calmed down, he arranged the following matters, firstly, what we need to do is the apprenticeship ceremony, where the teacher's surname is Imo and his name is Lin Yuan. Bai Mao knew the etiquette of worshipping a master, so he performed a three kneeling and nine kowtowing ceremony. After kowtowing three heads, the master quickly lifted Bai Mao up, indicating that he was a cultivator. Otherwise, following Bai Mao's kowtowing method would cause a concussion. Seeing this cheap disciple so silly, Mo Lin Yuan helplessly handed her the prepared apprentice worship ceremony Bai Mao raised his slightly red forehead, accepted the apprenticeship ceremony with a smile, and added, Thank you, Master, with a sweet smile with his eyes shining brightly, he eagerly sensed the items in the storage bag with his divine sense. After being blinded by the huge amount of spirit stones, magic treasures, and bottled pills, he decisively wanted to kneel in front of M.O. Linyuan again. 
In the end, Mo Linyuan gave him another small bag of spirit stones, and Mo Linyuan couldn't help but hold his forehead. What's going on? Little brother, please spoil it. The name of this sect is Astrology Pavilion, and the core skill is divination and divination. However, your master also has some understanding of other sections. If you are willing to change, you can also teach them to you, said Mo Linyuan, there is already a gathering spirit formation within our sect for you to practice, and a library for you to choose from. I can also help you solve your doubts. In addition, you can also choose your residence as you wish. Is there anything else I don't understand? If there's anything, you can come find me anytime. Bai Mao arched his hand and said, I have nothing to do. I'll leave first. Mo Linyuan nodded and poured the steaming tea on the table into his mouth to savor. He waited for Bai Mao to walk out of the distance before looking up and saying, Did Bai Mao really appear? Is divination auspicious or inauspicious? He chuckled and continued to savor the tea if you want to know about the future, please listen to the breakdown in the next chapter. Chapter 5 Astrology You are listening at NovelFull.audio Walking in the Astrology Pavilion, everything around is so dreamy. The mountain built in the Astrology Pavilion is tall and the highest, surpassing the surrounding mountains. There are spirits and beasts in the mountains, and spiritual fish in the water. It's beautiful after admiring for a while, Qin Chiyuan walked towards the other buildings of the Astrology Pavilion. These buildings were all made of black glazed tiles and white high walls, shining in the sunlight. He walked around a corner and in a sunny place, there was a grand tutor's chair. With curiosity, I walked to the side and realized that it was actually my master's spiritual sword, Calm, why is a sword sunbathing here? Omega, Omega, shocked by Mao finally realized that her three views had been refreshed. From this sword, she seemed to see laziness, like an old man in the park, who, although possessing unique skills, did not reveal the scenery that sword also noticed by Mao. The sword lifted slightly on one side, facing Qin Chiyuan slightly in the front, like a person turning their head slightly and looking at Bai Mao Bai Mao suddenly remembered the purpose of this and blushed slightly. His little hand felt embarrassed as he touched the back of his head, Master Jian, I don't want to disturb you. It's just that I'm not clear about these houses for a moment. Can you take me to familiarize myself with them? Master Jian was stunned for a moment after listening, while Bai Mao used, asterisk omega asterisk operator, looking at it with a similar gaze, later the sword master's handle turned slightly red and floated up from the recliner, facing white hair. The sword body curved slightly and nodded. Looking at the obedient white hair in front of him, sword master flew onto white hair's head. In white hair's puzzled gaze, spiritual power gathered on the MO-like sword body, forming a layer of spiritual energy on the sword body later, master Jian stroked by Mao's head from front to back. Bai Mao only felt a warm sensation, like a smooth little hand touching his head, hoo hoo. White hair closed his eyes to feel the love he had never felt as an orphan. He unconsciously let out a kitten-like purr, which made Ah Jian's playful heart soar. A well-behaved, fragrant and soft one made it difficult to refuse the younger generation of Rua as a result, this Rua exchange ended with white hair and hair exploding. Looking at the sword master jumping and leading the way in front of him, white hair also smiled brightly, and the sword master was also very interesting the first thing Bai Mao wanted to go to was the Sutra Pavilion. Previously, he only knew how to condense spiritual energy bullets, which could not even be considered a single move, so he came to learn martial arts with the guidance of Master Jian, Bai Mao finally found it. Compared to the middle hall, the Sutra Pavilion is located to the north. Pushing open the thick and imposing door, different magic formulas are placed on a huge bookshelf. The spiritual energy on the ground flows smoothly along the inscriptions, and each node emits a little fluorescence. There is a high platform protruding at the eye of the formation the sword and white hair moved to a high platform, and the end of the inscription was connected to this. The sword master's sword body was shining brightly, and he used his deep blue spiritual power to communicate with the stone pillar on it. 
Then he stood forward and extended it, indicating that white hair was the same as a Qin Chiyuan extended his spiritual power court forward, and suddenly, blue light danced like fireflies, forming a dreamlike picture. He slowly extended his hand, and the blue light rose through his fingers, flying to the designated position finally, the blue light arranged into the names of various techniques. Earth stabbing technique, ice cone technique, earth wall technique, thunder light prism, one chi transforming three cleanliness white hair looked at the blue light in the sky for a long time, but suddenly realized that there were still many blue dots lying on the ground that had not floated up a gentle touch came from behind, and when I turned my head, I saw Master Jian using his spiritual energy to pull a part of the blue light floating in front of me. The blue light stopped in front of white hair for a moment, and then rushed towards white hair like a swimming dragon white hair's eyes closed in shock, and her little hand instinctively blocked her head. After a long time, when white hair opened her eyes again, the sky was full of blue light, and the sword master was nowhere to be seen. In front of her was a soft white light, and what happened afterwards made her dumbfounded two artistic fonts appear from shallow to deep. The word Ginchin Impact is clearly filled with white eyes, and a hysterical roar comes from the ear. Ginchin Impact, start. It may be the creator's evil taste. After seeing enough fun, he leaves, and the whole space returns to pure white again after a brief moment of confusion, she became angry at being teased. Her white and tender hands clenched into fists, and the hashtag character appeared on her forehead. She had a premonition that the person who brought her did it, don't catch me, otherwise there will be good plans to eat. After calming down the anger, the scene in front of me began to change, like ink seeping through rice paper and becoming a large black block, mostly of sufficient size. The ink ball extended forward and meandered around the white hair. The white hair turned to look, and a little black ink spun into white clouds, while some seeped out into mountains, leaving the central block blank after being stunned for a moment, leaving a blank space before my eyes, a large amount of ink clumps transformed and condensed into a human shape. At this point, my eyes were no longer flat, and white hair completely integrated into the painting the ink ball became more and more exquisite, and in the end, an old man competed. He held a compass in his hand and gradually gained color. When his body was fully colored, the bronze compass shone brightly. The old man's gaze fixed and he said, You are not from this realm. The soul of another realm will find its place in this realm. This astrology and divination will be passed on to you. Wait. White hair wanted to say something more. The old man's blue light condensed in his hand, and the light ball entered white hair's forehead. The huge impact made white hair faint is this astrology powerful or not, and what are its drawbacks if you want to know about the future, please listen to the breakdown in the next chapter. Chapter 6 A sword transforms into a true body, with solitary demons in the treasure pavilion. You are listening at NovelFull.audio White hair opened his eyes, and in front of him was the ancient and simple wall of the Sutra pavilion. He regained his senses, and his mind flooded with a large amount of Dharma formulas, hand movements, and knowledge about the operation of spiritual energy. He suddenly felt a splitting headache, my head hurt so much, what are these? Bai Mao covered his head with both hands and quickly squatted down, his eyebrows twisted into a chuan shape, his eyes tightly closed, and his mouth let out meaningless moans A blue spiritual energy was drawn to Qin Qiyuan's forehead, and then slowly entered Bai Mao's sea of consciousness. The relief of the pain allowed Bai Mao to open his eyes, and when he opened them, he saw a pair of worried eyes on his eyes were slightly furrowed brows, and the ethereal blue shadow could vaguely be seen as a long ancient dress. His waist-length hair swayed slightly with the movements of his arms, are you feeling better? There was also a hint of nervousness in the ethereal voice, are you? Senior sword. My head doesn't hurt anymore. After receiving a positive response from Bai Mao, Qian Ying patted her chest with her hand, took a deep breath, and her eyebrows relaxed, turning to look at Bai Mao looking at Bai Mao's curious gaze, Ah Jian also answered, you just received the inheritance because the sea of consciousness was too narrow to fully accept, so I used spiritual energy to temporarily seal it. 
you can unlock it when your sea of consciousness meets the requirements. After some explanation, Ah Jian once again met by Mao's inquisitive gaze and instinctively tilted his head. Do you have any further questions? You used to speak, but what's going on with your body? Bai Mao said curiously and poked Ah Jian's body hand through it, which was very strange, this is what I condensed with spiritual energy, similar to the body of a sword spirit. It's amazing, isn't it? After introducing it, Ah Jian patted his chest, expressing his pride in words in the eyes of Bai Mao, this is no different from a child seeking praise from an adult, while the senior swordsman is an imperial sister in size. This strong contrast further reflects the adorable and loving senior swordsman, amazing, amazing, master sword is the most amazing, white hair revealed V A Omega the admiration of V's expression was accompanied by a round of applause, as for not speaking at first, it was because I was afraid of scaring you. It's strange for a sword to speak, said Ah Jian after satisfying his vanity when Bai Mao saw a sword basking in the sun, his three views were refreshed, and he became accustomed to it, so, Junior, how is my transformation? Is it pretty? Suddenly, Ah Jian asked nervously without hesitation, Bai Mao opened his mouth and said, Master Jian is so beautiful. If he doesn't look good, no one in the world can be called beautiful. Great, I didn't leave a bad impression on the younger generation, Ah Jian became excited again, his fist extended over his head, making a triumphant gesture, senior, so cute, Bai Mao instinctively blurted out, and when he reacted, he blushed to the bottom of his ear, hey, really. Ah Jian blushed and shyly whispered, you're also very cute, my junior. Hmm, Lin. Lin Yuan said, I'll take you over after you finish accepting the inheritance. Ah Jian clenched his fist, cleared his throat, and said the next arrangements. Bai Mao nodded silently and walked out of the Sutra Pavilion side by side with a Jian. The journey was peaceful, and both of them tacitly avoided looking at each other, but felt embarrassed, shy, time and time again in their hearts finally, after a long wait, they arrived at the lobby and both of them breathed a sigh of relief, it seems that you're getting along well, Mo Linyuan shook his cup slightly in one hand and lazily lay on a recliner, his eyes playfully looking back and forth at the two people. Bai Mao calmed down a bit, then fixed his mind and saw that Che Jian was lying on the same recliner as Master Jian. He looked at a Jian with suspicion A Jian's response was to ignore Bai Mao's gaze, look to the side, and whistle, but because he couldn't whistle, he only exhaled, since you have accepted the inheritance, you are the official disciple of my star watching pavilion, he said as he leaned forward and handed over a token with the name of the star watching pavilion along with a set of sect uniforms, Master Xia, Bai Mao replied solemnly, his forced and serious expression and young age. Successfully amused Mo Linyuan, all right, don't keep your face straight. There are no rules in my place, he said with a smile in his eyes, casually rubbing his white-haired head by Mao also responded with a sweet smile, hmm, I understand, master. Once you have packed up properly, I will take you out on a trip. Qin Qiyuan nodded and stood up to leave as Bai Mao walked away, Mo Linyuan looked at a Jian with a cold expression on his face. Next, let's discuss the matter of fishing while you were watching the house. You haven't put the chair back yet. Why are you so careless this time? Ah Jian humbly looked away and said, I didn't fish. I took the younger generation to the Sutra Pavilion, and the chair. I moved it for her to sit on, that's right. Ah Jian cleverly found a reason, can you explain why there's only your breath on the chair? Isn't Chi Yuan embarrassed to ask you not to sit? Ah Jian was very surprised that Lin Yuan could find an excuse for him, so he quickly nodded but a lie needs other lies to round it up, so the bottom will be exposed, Jian, I know you too well. You won't give the chair to anyone else, nor will you think of using the mentality of fate. This time, I will punish you not to go out and play, Lin Yuan made the final judgment, but the sword was disheartened at the same time, on the other side, after repeated trial and error, I finally put on the sect uniform. It was a concise short skirt, with a red hem below the knees, a loose hem slightly drooping, and a fine inscription on the edge of the collar. Injecting spiritual energy into it, it showed a slight golden fluorescence from top to bottom, 
and approaching the hand gave a sense of spacing if you apply a little more force, it will scatter like waves from the point of contact, mostly like a shield in addition, there is also a matching set of golden branches and jade pendants. The golden branch doesn't seem to have much reputation, while the jade pendant is warm and moist, as if the heart has calmed down, without any desires or demands. It is indeed a good thing after all the clothes were put on, she looked like a charming and charming woman, with a golden noble hairpin on her head and a jade crown on her waist. She wore countless soft threads that could reach her waist, and when she turned around, her eyes were filled with starlight, like a celestial being descending to earth. She was incredibly beautiful white hair returned to the lobby and saw the low dot pressure sword and the friendly looking master puzzled and puzzled, this is just right, isn't it pretty? Mo Linyuan confirmed that Bai Mao had put on the golden hairpin and awakened Ah Jian, who was a regular emo, Jian, we should go now, Ah Jian raised his head, but there was still a small grudge in his eyes. With his hands on his hips, he turned his head to one side and didn't look at Lin Yuan, but he still managed to control the sword to fly, Yuaner, you go out first, I'll come later. The white-haired fox looked at each person with a sword, but obediently walked out Lin Yuan approached Ajian, who trembled violently. If you're not happy, how about I give you a reward? You bad. Bad guy, Ah Jian blushed and quickly rushed out Lin Yuan seemed to have thought of something and walked out as well white hair only saw Ah Jian quickly hiding inside the sword outside the house. After riding on the flying sword, he didn't know what happened but today Ah Jian seemed to be drunk and stumbling around thanks to Lin Yuan's excellent technique, it would be great if we didn't flip the sword. How could we reach it it's still the place of Qingyun city, but after falling outside the city this time, the three of them headed straight to the inner city. There is a real estate in the golden area of the inner city, and only standing in front of it can one know how luxurious it is. Is that dazzling gate made of gold? Or are the tiles on the roof made of gold? No one knows, no one wants to challenge the heritage and network of the treasure pavilion the guards at the entrance are also foundation building cultivators, but no one dares to underestimate them because they are from the treasure pavilion the gatekeeper, upon seeing Lin Yuan among the three, took the initiative to step forward and shouted helplessly, Stop, do you know where this is? At the same time, he raised his head and turned his nostrils towards the three disciples of Lin Yuan. Other passers-by around him also cast a teasing and curious gaze, is this. Treasure Pavilion Bai Mao read aloud as he looked at the words on the plaque, If you know you're not going far enough, just like you poor people, you can still come to the Treasure Pavilion, the gatekeeper looked humbly abandoned on the other hand, Lin Yuan remained silent for a while. He pretended to brush his sleeve unintentionally, and a little golden light flashed. The gatekeeper saw it with one hand and pointed it out, covering his mouth with the other, so. Is that the Super Invincible Treasure Pavilion Supreme VIP card? Others also looked envious, sorry, I'm blind, the guard bowed his head but Lin Yuan held his forehead with one hand and said, you don't need this glitch AD slap on the face plot anymore, do you? The gatekeeper changed his previous difficult situation and smiled, although it's Klitsch A.D., it's really enjoyable, isn't it, Brother Lin Yuan? I'm tired of playing no matter how exciting it is, it's been six times. The passers-by around also put aside their envious eyes, but their eyes were full of fatigue. Even A Jian shook his head white hair. Only white hair showed a puzzled expression, because of Brother Lin Yuan, I survived and was able to work here. How could I really do that kind of thing? The Lord also asked you to come and find her. Starting with Lin Yuan, the three of them walked up to the fourth floor of the treasure pavilion, finally here, do we have to play that kind of drama every time? A gentle female voice came from behind the screen if you want to know what will happen afterwards, please listen to the next breakdown. Chapter 7 White hair shooting and true dragon appearing, dragon and phoenix accompanying dragon Zuancheng. You are listening at novel full dot audio. De Ko Lois A R A Trong Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 8 Although dragon blood has its advantages and disadvantages, I stumble upon a true man while listening to a book. You are listening at novel full dot audio. 
continuing from the previous text, Bai Mao opened his eyes and sat up suddenly. The blanket on his body slipped off, and his pink fragrant shoulders were completely exposed in the air after yawning and stretching his lazy white hair, he finally realized why I was in bed. After careful reflection, Bai Mao finally remembered so, is my awakening successful? Suddenly, I saw the quilt move, lifted it, and a big tail appeared in front of me. It started to fly, I'm not human. The big tail extends to the eyes, allowing white hair to see the details clearly, with fine scales covering it this is really cool. White hair casually touched his head and as expected, he touched a pair of slender horns, like onions a carp with white hair straightened and flipped out of bed the icy coolness of the floor tiles made the barefoot white hair shiver with embarrassment, and his tail suddenly tightened by Mao had to sit down on the bed honestly and put on the shoes placed next to the bed after putting on her shoes, by Mao got out of bed again, humming a cheerful little green dragon in her mouth. She wanted to go find her master and share her joy together quickly, when Bai Mao hummed, I won't tell you, he indeed found his master on a grandmaster's chair that could be illuminated by the sun. Can you only say that he is truly a master? You can find him in many sunny places white hair touched the master in front of him, master, do you observe any changes in my form? White haired hands akimbo, tail swaying slightly behind his back, as if he really wanted Lin Yuan to evaluate him master squinted his eyes slightly, looked at him a little, and spoke up, the top of the head is like a jade horn, and there is a long tail behind it, which has undergone tremendous changes. White hair appeared more excited, but remained silent, appearing as a master however, the master's words changed, the white jade horn is as delicate as the white scallions, so let's stick to it. Upon hearing this, Bai Mao's tail stopped and his eyes raced into erect pupils. Dragon scales appeared faintly on Bai Yu's arms, and his hands extended their five fingers forward, transforming into ferocious claws, Ru, say it again, even the master cannot. Insult the dragon clan. A red light suddenly appeared in Bai Mao's eyes, and he pounced towards Lin Yuan, showing a posture of spreading his teeth and dancing his claws as soon as he saw it, he was about to touch it. He said it was late, but it was fast. The master's index and middle fingers were together, and he gave white hair a chisel chestnut at the joint of his fingers. White hair fell backwards, and his paw unconsciously extended forward Lin Yuan placed a wristband around by Mao's back to prevent her from falling down directly, have you been affected by dragon blood? Xiao Yuan, you should learn to control it instead of letting it control you. White hair instinctively covered his head, his eyes turned into mosquito coils, and after a moment of recovery, his eyes became clear and silly, did I say something strange just now? I think I saw a dragon talking to me. Okay, it's normal now, master, I have also gained a lot of knowledge in my mind, which seems to be called, dragon transformation technique. I now feel that my whole body is full of power. Not bad, just awakening one's physique gives you the physical strength required for later stage qi refining and cultivation, which is extremely talented. However, you don't have the appropriate swordsmanship yet. The master smiled slightly and flipped his hand, revealing a quaint and luminous blueprint in his hand, this is a non-grade, shocking sword, that can only be taken. You can also ask Linen for a few books to practice. So Bai Mao held it in his hand and imitated it with his sword while watching, gradually moving away, you see, Xiao Yuan suppressed the influence of dragon blood in just one go, right? Linen walked out from behind a nearby tree, indeed, Xiao Yuan's talent is very strong, which is the key to breaking the game. Afterwards, there was silence between the two after watching for a while, Bai Mao finally understood the basics of Sword of the Sky. In short, it is a powerful flying brick. The more spiritual power is injected, the greater the power. It is indeed suitable for beginners like White Hair. White Hair took out his spiritual sword, lightly touched the sword body, and as he slid forward, a hazy blue light appeared on the sword body. As White Hair's spiritual energy control was not yet exquisite, it spread to one side, although it is an unnecessary loss, it is particularly cool. By Mao's gaze fixed, and he swung his sword, which shattered the table in front of him. The sawdust brushed past the white hair. 
Yo, the little one is practicing swordsmanship, Lin and Silver Bell-like voice first approached his graceful figure as if not seeing the sawdust around, he put down a wooden table on his own, half leaning against the table and looking at white hair with a smile on his face by Mao also sat down against the table, here, these are the techniques I have chosen for you. Linen handed over several blue books, thank you, Sister Linen, by Mao smiled sweetly, why is your mouth so sweet, little cutie? Thank you. No need, let's go. After speaking, Linen dodged and left. It's so difficult to deal with big sister, Bai Mao said, propping up his face with one hand and flipping through a book with the other, it's just that, I've gone to learn the method. In this study, time flew by and I suddenly felt something yellow floating outside the house. Looking up, I don't know when it's getting dark. The yellow one is Kong Mingdang. Get up and walk outside, only then can you realize how spectacular it is a pair of thousands of Kong Ming lanterns fly into the air, connecting into a 10,000 meter Milky Way, echoing the bright lights of the city below the girl's eyes seem to have a whole starry sky, do you want to put the Kong Ming lamp? A voice came from the side it turned out to be the master. The master sat by the roof, propped up with both hands and looking up at the sky, with a blank Kong Ming lamp in his hand taking Kong Ming Deng, white hair turned his body to one side, you can't watch, okay, don't look, master averted his gaze after finishing writing, the white hair ignited slightly, and the Kong Ming lamp slowly began to rise, merging into the Milky Way, I hope we can reach the finish line, Lin Yuan whispered softly, but no one heard. The next day, white hair woke up from bed and early in the morning, taking his master on a journey together the reason for this is, master, every day I see you lying on a chair and going out for a walk. So a magical combination appeared on the street. White hair bouncing and jumping in front, and Lin Yuan yawning from behind passing by a place, one should have walked directly, but the sound emanating from it made by Mao turn back are you telling a story here. Entering, many people sat around a place, and the uncle folded his fan and waved his hand, saying it's late, that's fast. Li Xiaoyao, close to himself, took offense as his defense, and only attacked another strong opponent in the same situation who retreated a hundred steps. Several others around him also attacked Li Xiaoyao when they saw him losing. Okay, okay. It's great. Li Xiaoyao is really a big man. The two suddenly spoke up and couldn't help but look at each other. Do you also think Xiaoyao is a true husband? Tu Bai Mao first spoke up and said, Xiaoyao, in order to protect his brothers, is willing to fight alone against the four strong ones. He is truly a kind-hearted person, willing to sacrifice his head and shed his blood for his brothers. This is the true and upright man. The strong man's eyes were moist, as if tears were rolling down his face. Me too, he said the two seemed to hate each other for meeting too late, my confidant, I have never met someone like you before. You are truly my confidant. I don't know how to call my brother. I forgot to introduce myself when I was excited. The strong man patted his head, my name is Wang Hu, and what about you? My name is Qin Qiyuan, you're much better than them, even though you're a woman, you're so carefree. Okay, okay. What kind of sparks will Wang Hu and Bai Mao create when the needle is pointed at the edge? If you want to know what will happen afterwards, please listen to the next breakdown. Chapter 9 White Hair Makes Friends and Enjoys Drinking in Restaurants The Sword God's Secret Realm Has the Universe You are listening at Novel Full Audio. As mentioned in the previous book, both Bai Mao and Wang Hu are refreshing people the two of them hated each other for meeting too late, so they came to the martial arts school together. The two decided to make friends through martial arts. Show me some real skills, don't let me look down on you. Yes, the two stood in opposition on both sides of the field, with a stern expression on their faces. They took out their swords from their storage bags and pulled a sword flower. Don't be hurt by me later, dear friend. Wang Hu smiled brightly as he stretched his muscles and turned his wrist. Wang Hu's weapon was a large knife, which could be flexibly rotated in his hand white-haired legs kicked and rushed towards Wang Hu at full speed Wang Hu also ran forward, 
holding his sword slightly to his side with both hands, ready to swing forward and chop in an instant, the handover of short soldier's white hair took the lead in attacking, stabbing Wang Hu with a sword. Wang Hu raised his large sword and blocked the piercing blow with his broad body, the pain is fast, and the strength is still good. Wang Hu extended his big sword, pushed the white hair away a certain distance, and struck a straight slash towards the white hair both of them had a tacit understanding without using swordsmanship, it was a pure competition of skill and strength after a quick analysis by Bai Hai Tu, he chose to move backwards and avoid Wang Hu's slash, be careful with this move. Wang Hu's body showed a red aura, and as he rapidly advanced, he also swung and slashed. This swung and slashed far ahead of before. White hair caught a black shadow, suppressing his shock and quickly raised his sword to block it a powerful and heavy attack hit the spirit sword, which was rapidly pressed down, and the white hair could only support it to the death. This is a recognition and persistence of oneself the second slash was equally swift, but this time from another tricky angle, Bai Mao suddenly felt his head particularly clear despite some reluctance, we still managed to capture the trajectory of the attack Bai Mao suddenly realized that this attack was not invincible, and there was still some strength left after blocking, not as weak as at first. At the same time, he was also surprised how his strength increased. So back and forth, Bai Mao didn't remember how many cuts she had made, and the tiger's mouth was painful, but she also felt more and more comfortable with her strength however, this is not conducive to the game so Bai Mao took the opportunity to use his strength to distance himself with a thrust of the spirit sword, the slate shattered, and the white hair slowly stopped sliding pulling out the spirit sword and swinging his sore arm even if it's a clay figurine, there's a third of the anger. Anyway, at this moment, Bai Mao is a bit annoyed the blue light of the spirit sword was shining brightly, and white hair used his professional skills. With a stunning sword, he lifted it and charged forward, well done. Perhaps seeing the power of this move, the red light on Wang Hu's sword became even stronger and he charged forward. The needle pointed at the sharp edge, and the world seemed to change color, accompanied by dazzling white light and a loud roar when looking again, both stand on the field, it is unknown who won. Wang Hu fell backwards, did white hair win? Immediately, the white hair also collapsed both of them lay on the ground with the word, big, not feeling dirty both of them are exhausted and don't want to move finally, Wang Hu sat up first, revealing his white teeth and extending his hand to Bai Mao with a smile. Bai Mao rolled his eyes, but in the end, he stood up with the help of force, why are you still staring so hard? Bai Mao didn't have a good airway Wang Hu placed his hand behind his head and looked embarrassed. I feel a bit overwhelmed when I compete with someone. This is called. This is called respecting the opponent, uh. -huh. White haired with arms around his chest, scrutinizing with eyes, his face full of disbelief. Wang Hu understood no matter how carefree he was, why don't I invite you to have a meal? Okay, then I won't be polite, Bai Mao put down his hand and pounded Wang Hu's stomach. Let's go. Master, I'm leaving now. Lin Yuan, who had hung up for half a chapter next to him, smiled and waved his hand. An inexplicable sense of war ignited in Wang Hu's eyes, he arched his hand, and walked away with white hair, as the friendship of Wu Qi arrived here. Lin Yuan looked at the two of them talking and laughing, lost in thought. Cheers up! Cheers up! The two of them drank and ate meat in large gulps from bowls and plates. The collision of bowls and chopsticks, the splashing of alcohol, and the two of them were unrestrained and free to do as they pleased, minors are prohibited from drinking alcohol, the white-haired face was also tinged with a hint of redness, making it even more alluring. White hair was drunk, those people are just inferior, Bai Mao sat up and casually pointed, who? Wang Hu lay on the table, drinking and looking at Bai Mao on his side, those villains. If it's me, I'll have two bread sandwiches with cheese. Let's unite. Hiccup, defeat Wang Xiaoyao with one sword. White hair summoned his spiritual sword, and Wang Hu's wine was already half awakened. In Wang Hu's surprised and widened eyes, Bai Mao struck a sword and the restaurant collapsed halfway. 
Fortunately, Wang Hu smashed all the collapsed wooden boards with a big knife, otherwise the consequences would be unimaginable. Sorry, too, Wang Hu and Bai Mao bowed at a 45-degree angle, while Lin Yuan dealt with the aftermath and negotiated with the shopkeeper. The shopkeeper held a storage bag and laughed happily at night, Bai Mao tossed and turned, unable to sleep, reminding himself not to drink anymore. The next day, standing on the balcony, stretching lazily, I looked closely and for some reason, there were more figures wearing white robes on the street it's because the sword immortal secret realm is about to open. The voice of the master came from around, and white hair was almost immune seeing that Bai Mao was clearly interested, Mo Linyuan continued to speak, legend has it that there was once a sword immortal who, with one sword per person, took ten steps to kill one person, leaving no name for thousands of miles. However, he did not ascend and eventually fell. His tomb was arranged by him as a secret realm for later generations to test. The key is now that all cultivators below the golden core can enter and seize treasures, with both danger and opportunity coexisting. Okay, I'll go back and consolidate my cultivation and improve my techniques. White hair sits on a cattail, with spiritual energy circulating throughout the universe, consolidating one's cultivation. The spiritual energy washes through the meridians, impacting impurities and making the transmission of spiritual energy smoother white hair is well aware that starting from a towering building on a flat ground, laying a solid foundation now will lead to greater profits white hair crushed the spirit stone, and the spiritual energy overflowed. A strong vortex of spiritual energy appeared on white hair's body, which was swallowed by a whale and entered white hair's body. The spiritual energy directly connected the Ren and Du meridians, and finally gathered in the inner alchemy. The spiritual energy inside the inner alchemy is compressed, which can accommodate more capacity the breathing is over, exhale a mouthful of exhaust gas, Qi Yuan. A loud noise came from downstairs look, isn't this Wang Hu? Friend, are you going to practice? This is the first sentence when we meet, go, Bai Mao stretched his hand and arrived at the Judo field with Wang who neither of them made a heavy move this time, emphasizing one point until the end and the two of them have good physical fitness, so they don't worry about getting hurt or hitting each other. Their techniques and moves are constantly improving during training, and then they go from Wang Hu to eat monster meat. As the saying goes, three points rely on training, seven points rely on eating, and their physical strength is constantly increasing. White hair sat on a cattail, as if there were signs of breaking through. He quickly crushed a few spirit stones, looked inside his elixir field, and devoted himself wholeheartedly to the breakthrough realm. White hair had clearly felt the bottleneck, and the spiritual energy was sucked into his body by the storm. Suddenly, a dragon shaped shadow appeared on White hair's body. After observing all around, he guided the excess spiritual energy around white hair to the outside of his body and attached it to his surface. At this time, fine scales emerged, the spiritual energy warms and nourishes the white-haired dragon scales. For a long time, the dragon soul dissipates first, leaving only the dragon scales shimmering. The white fur opens its eyes, consolidates the newly broken realm, and in the later stage of qi cultivation, becomes the master outside the door also nodded and smiled slightly. Five days later, today is the day when the sword god's secret realm will open. Not far from Qingyun city, he went with Wang Hu. Suddenly, Bai Mao remembered that he had never used his astrological skills before, so he used divination and went to the ominous Zayajita, feeling relieved now, Bai Mao's cultivation has reached the late stage of qi refining, and his body has also reached the late stage of qi refining. He has still learned the two moves of the shocking sword and brought the supplies provided by his master to the entrance of the sword god's secret realm the entrance is crowded with people, but there is still a distinction between sects and scattered cultivators the sect has a clearly unified sect uniform, while the casual cultivators are somewhat disorganized. Qin Qiyuan, with her white hair and red dress, has also attracted some attention. Her heroic temperament, coupled with her stunning appearance, is very eye-dot-catching, in the later stage of qi refining, there is such power and fun, the unknown black-robed man muttered to himself what is the identity of a black-robed person. 
What does ominous Sayajita mean? If you want to know what will happen afterwards, please listen to the next breakdown. Chapter 10 The Sword Immortal's secret realm has acquaintances, and the barbecue feast is interrupted. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Book continuation from previous chapter, Who is this? Take a good look, a male hacker's eyes widened and he couldn't help but whisper to his companions around him, I haven't seen it before. It seems that it should be the Tianjiao of some sect, right? The companion beside gave his own judgment, the sword cultivator next to her is even stronger than the cultivator in the golden elixir period I saw. That head of white hair was really eye-dot-catching, which also attracted frequent glances from the sex Tianjiao on one side, brother, look, that girl, a young girl patted the boy next to her, and the boy who had originally been looking far away turned to look at his sister. His eyes seemed to be filled with starlight, and he coldly asked, what's wrong? Following the direction pointed by the girl, he also saw white hair. After searching his mind carefully, he confirmed that he had not seen the person before, she's taking a good look, the girl exclaimed in admiration, and the boy nodded in agreement with curiosity in his eyes the first time Bai Mao was scrutinized by so many people, a slight blush appeared on Bai Xia's cheeks seemingly aware of Bai Mao's embarrassment. Lin Yuan took the initiative to walk up to him and helped him block those curious gazes, which made Bai Mao breathe a sigh of relief and let him once again feel that he had followed a good master and uncle walked up to the secret realm and introduced himself to everyone, I am Wu Xie, the deputy leader of the sect alliance. Vice alliance leader, Mo Xie explained the rules to every cultivator who wants to enter the secret realm. After entering the secret realm, you can engage in fair competition, but do not engage in unnecessary killings. If I know about it, there will be good juice for you. After speaking, the deputy alliance leader's aura was revealed, and an unbeatable aura instantly rushed towards the surrounding cultivators some weak cultivators have their backs bent and cannot move, while the disciples of the sect are protected by elders and do not harm great elegance. Although some cultivators have grievances, they dare not say anything. This is the cultivation world where the strong are respected some sect elders may also think it's inappropriate, but the nature of this alliance leader is so casual and rough that he can only do it white hair's first contact with the power of the sect alliance was very authoritative and cannot be refuted the slight feeling was the same breath as before. And the desire for battle reignited in the eyes of Wang who beside him Moi took out a token from his body and guided it towards the air. With spiritual energy suddenly, even though there was nothing, the token was still embedded in an invisible groove it seems to have passed some kind of authentication, and the token emits a little glow with a loud roar, accompanied by the appearance of a azure entrance the sword immortal secret realm has officially opened at this moment. The cultivators who still maintain order understand that they will start to compete in disorder once they enter so he used all his strength to suck milk. And rushed forward by Mao jumped onto the flying sword, and Wan who also took out Bai Ji's big sword and rushed into the secret realm after a whirlwind, Bai Mao stood up, raised his spiritual sword, and observed the surrounding environment it is a vast forest, and before we can fully explore it, foolish intrusion is the most incorrect choice after sticking a stealth talisman on his body. Bai Mao jumped onto the tree and carefully observed the surroundings, this talisman paper is from a dozen talismans given by his master, which can conceal his body shape. In fact, it is an essential old six talismans for killing and setting fire when going out, at the same time, on the other side, when the master saw that white hair had indeed entered the secret realm, he took a few steps back to cover people's ears and eyes. His last two fingers were together, and a subtle wave flew towards the distance on the other side of the sword immortal secret realm, where there was no one around, a spiritual aura began to expand and slowly transformed into a human shape, with facial features and clothing resembling a robe automatically appearing on his body. Then, he pulled the collar to make it less tight before opening his mouth, I work so hard, every time it's inconvenient for my body to come forward, I have to do it. What are you doing? Sigh. This is exactly the clone Lin Yuan after kicking away a stone on the roadside like a complaint, he began to take action and set up a restraint formation before attempting to enter the secret realm, why is this formation so familiar? This aura. 
With five fingers spinning, an entrance appeared in the formation, which seemed slightly different. With one foot, he stepped into it. Shortly after his clone left, the formation he had just arranged collapsed into a crystal chip, becoming the dullest spiritual energy that dissipated in the world a few days later, two plump wild boars were growing on a grassland in the forest wild boar A said, it's been strange lately. I don't know where a white monkey has emerged and slaughtered our fellow countrymen. Wild boar B said, humph, yes, there aren't many beautiful sows in our tribe anymore. Humph. Suddenly, a white figure fell from the sky, like withered leaves, but upon landing, there was a thunderous force. One of the wild boars was violently smashed to the ground, as if the sound of bones shattering could still be heard another wild boar was startled and was about to escape when an electric current flowed through its entire body. Some of its muscles began to contract, sticking out a tongue and unable to move. This white figure is Chi Yuan. That's right. Observing this forest, Bai Mao found it a good place to level up. Most of the creatures are in the middle stage of qi refining, and in the later stage, coupled with Bai Mao's dual cultivation of magic and martial arts, it's easy to grasp and the animals here have excellent meat quality, which is very suitable for making grilled meat after processing the two plump and heavy wild boars, Master Qin began to be busy and came to the usual place where meat was cooked. There was a whole stone that white hair had found in the past. With just one cut of the spirit sword, it turned into a standard stone slab at this moment, by Mao's nose twitched and sniffed, it's just pure grilled meat, it's too monotonous. So by Mao stood up, searched for that smell, walked over to the bushes, and saw some small chili peppers hiding in it, with a little fluorescence under the shade of the tree. The flame generated by the fire spirit power swayed slightly in the breeze. After confirming that the dry firewood was lit, White Hair moved the firewood and placed the fat on top. The fat, under the influence of high temperature, sizzled and emitted oil. When the two sides of the meat were almost golden, White Hair threw the small chili peppers up, and the spirit sword played a sword trick. The chili peppers came to the stone slab like this by Mao kept sniffing the taste of the entire dish carefully, to avoid adding too much spicy and adding too little tasteless. He set aside the excess chili peppers, but suddenly something unexpected happened. Just as Bai Mao was about to turn over the grilled meat, the small chili peppers suddenly turned into light grains, as if they had merged into the meat and disappeared. After a moment of silence, the burning smell wrapped around Bai Mao's nose, and he quickly flipped the grilled meat with his spiritual sword. After pondering for a moment, Bai Mao decided not to think any more and strung a string of grilled meat with a spirit sword taking a bite into the grilled meat, the unexpected deliciousness filled Bai Mao's taste buds, and he quickly stuffed the next piece of meat into his mouth. But before they could swallow it, two unwelcome guests burst into this place, and a pair of siblings flew awkwardly in front of Bai Mao. The siblings were shocked, and white hair almost choked to death. They pounded themselves hard on the chest, causing a rough wave before swallowing the barbecue. They quickly took two or three steps apart and raised their spiritual sword to warn the two of them but the grilled meat inserted on the spirit sword does not seem to indicate that white hair is ready for battle, as white hair is very embarrassed. A good barbecue feast was interrupted, and the embarrassed siblings who inexplicably broke in. Who are they? Why is that so? Know what will happen afterwards and listen to the next breakdown.